Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you my hobo stove that I made from parts that I bought at Goodwill and a few things I bought at Walmart. And here we go. First of all, I bought the bag at Walmart, just happened to fit. I got real lucky there. Never mind my dog, he's just extremely curious. Okay. First things first, I bought a stainless steel pasta pot from Goodwill. And I used a cone shaped progressive bit for stainless steel to drill these holes out. And my roto zip to cut that hole out. It's not the neatest looking hole, but it's great for uh, works great for feeding the twigs in as you go. This is a cage um, from a your typical work light, and I just bent it and cut it to fit. And slide that in so that I can keep the the fire off the bottom. That way, these bottom holes will give uh, plenty of air keep everything going. I have a couple, I have four holes drilled here for these tent stakes. Just cheap aluminum tent stakes from Walmart. And once the fire's going, I have my little pot that I pan that I bought from Goodwill. Cut the handle off, ground it off so it'll fit in there. And luckily this lid that I found at Goodwill, totally separate, fits this pot and when I'm done, sets over that. Perfect. Makes its own little handle. And also from Walmart, I have a cheap pair of little vice grips that I'll use to pull my pot off. And yes, it's, uh, it's a little tall and probably heavier than most people make it but rather than using a coffee can like I've seen a lot of videos of I just thought this would last a lot longer than a than a, just a cheap tin coffee can and there's plenty of room that I keep my little alcohol stove in there too everybody's seen these it's, I can't take credit for the design but it works fabulous and I can keep a little a couple little bottles of alcohol in there for that stove and of course some tin foil for the alcohol stove for uh, a windbreak all right see you in a few minutes we'll give this thing a try all right let's fire this thing up I like to put a base of uh, sticks so that my tinder doesn't fall down or my kindling And I like to use dryer lint for my kindling when I can. All right, well, we're gonna let that go till there's some coals. Be back with you in a second. All right, now the raging fire has turned into coals. Now let's get uh, some water boiling. Now I just put my tent stakes in. in the holes. Be careful not to touch that stainless steel because it is hot. All right, 
two cups of water. Most dehydrated camping meals uh, require two cups of water. So we'll give it a test. We'll set her on there. Come on. Now to stoke it up a little bit, I'll just feed in some sticks. That thing is hot. One thing you have to watch for is what kind of wood you use. I just have some sticks from my yard. I think some of it's at sumac. Obviously it gives off a lot of soot which is going to really blacken up my pot. It would work with coals but for the sake of time limit on YouTube I thought maybe I'd uh, keep the flames up. Already forming bubbles. Pretty nice and convenient. You just have to keep feeding it sticks. Nothing to it. Contains the fire for the most part. Concentrates it all up to the pot. And I have a lot of sparks flying out into the brush. And we're already at a boil. Nice rolling boil. Can't beat that. It's a great little camp stove. Alrighty, thanks for watching.